General Arnold, I never meant to asperse your character. If you will allow me, I would prefer to settle this with an apology rather than with bloodshed. I have suffered ingratitude on one side of the ocean. I will be damned to suffer it here. By the prevailing rules, gentlemen, the challenged party, Lord Lauderdale, has the privilege of firing first. <laughs> Sir, I find myself unable to fire at the hero of Saratoga. We have given this ungrateful nation three of our sons. All I have left is my reputation. I insist that you fire, sir. Sir, I have fired. By your leave, sir. I demand that the pistols be reloaded. Am I not worth an ounce of lead? My name will be chiseled in granite amongst the betrayers. Lucifer. Judas. And Arnold. George Washington served two terms as president. He retired to Mount Vernon, where he died in 1799. Joseph Reed died shortly after the war. John Andre was buried in the Poets' Corner at Westminster Abbey by order of the king. Peggy died at 44 of cancer. She left her children a gold locket, which held a snippet of John Andre's hair. Arnold died in 1801 at the age of 60 in London. His only monument at Saratoga does not mention his name. It reads, in memory of the most brilliant soldier of the Continental Army, who was desperately wounded on this spot, 7 October 1777, winning for his countrymen the decisive battle of the American Revolution, and for himself, the rank of Major General.